chaotic. This boy kept vomiting and this boy pooped on my lap. This is gonna be a chatty kind of video. Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is doing good. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jen. We would love for you to stay and be a part of this growing community. I know it's been a while that I have not done any like vlogs or um any kind of like videos videos if you hear noises on the background those are my goldens it is pretty early in the morning beautiful day here in the northeast i can't complain uh we just came back from florida let's just give them a moment they've been fed by the way they've been fed so like I was saying, we just came back from Florida and there's a lot of things that are happening um, within the past month. So I don't even know where to start, but we are going back and forth, back and forth. As you guys know, we do have um, a second home in Florida. So uh, we are back and forth. We still are doing renos at the house, but it is so close and i'm so happy everything is turning out really nicely so we're very happy the dogs love it oh my gosh the dogs love it the dogs love it so so much and it's just a different vibe now when i do come here in the pa now first of all this is gonna be a chatty catch-up kind of video so just keep that in mind um a lot of updates if you guys don't mind so the dogs love it. Um, it is so quiet, so peaceful. Uh, the environment there is so different compared to here. When I come back home, I love it so much. There's so much greenery and that's something that I never took for granted. And now I appreciate it more because in Florida, if you are a Floridian, I think that's what you call it, you know that there's just a lot of constructions and there's just not a lot of trees. There are palm trees, but they're just not the same. And the green leaves from the trees are like really pale. So when I do come up here north, I do appreciate this greenery. There's so much magnesium. There's just so much green trees here. I love it. And I just really, really feel good every time I come back home. We, in the month of May, we went to Florida two times. Uh, the first one was just to do a lot of stuff at the house. And then the second time, it was kind of like a purpose. Um, my sister, I wanted to give her a surprise. And um, for the first time, she was coming to Florida, with her husband, and I couldn't miss that out at all because it's been years, years and years that I have not seen her. So, so nice to see her because I don't know when will be the next time I will see her. So we did surprise her. Her birthday was May 25th and I was literally there. Um, and what we did was, because um, I have another sister in Florida that she just moved a year ago there, and we plan everything out with my sister that is a resident in florida and i said we have a group chat and i said to my sister that lives in florida i said hey don't forget to go to the house and give her a tour before she leaves that way she can see our little home and that was kind of like the plan so they did come saturday in the afternoon thinking it was just a tour and then they were just gonna head out um and then just do some gathering and celebrating her birthday but little did she know that it was going to be a surprise. So when they opened that door, we literally surprised her and she was so happy. We had the best time ever. She had so much fun. We danced, we got her a little cake. We did a lot of grilling um, and everything was just so nice. Good memories, we all enjoyed it. We were there late um, and she's not a drinker and she literally drank and she kind of liked my wine. I'm gonna show you my wine, um, the one that I'm telling you because I brought three bottles of really gigantic ones to Florida and all of my sisters, both of them, they really, really liked it. It was so much fun. She actually drank um, like half a cup. And for someone who doesn't drink, that's a lot. And it had like 12% alcohol. And the cup, the glass wine was pretty big and deep. So props to her. She liked it. 
and then my sister also enjoyed it but we are so horrible we're so horrible when it comes to like drinking alcohol all three of us and i will tell you why so my sister she does not drink and then my sister that is a resident in florida her and i get migraines so we have to be very very careful what we drink and wine some of them flare up so we are like the worst group to like drink at least my sister who doesn't drink can be like an uber or can be like a guide for us too but like it's a mess it's really a mess but we had fun thank goodness that we woke up without a migraine but this is another thing i was having a withdrawal i was so good and i wasn't drinking coffee but i was having a withdrawal and um i figured out that caffeine coffee is giving me migraines but guys, I was having a withdrawal and I needed my coffee. I did order this coffee that it's supposed to be quote unquote healthy. Um, and uh, it's supposed to arrive sometime this week. Uh, it's a mushroom coffee, but it has such good benefits to it. Let me see if I can actually find the name of it. <clears throat> I get migraines so, so bad, guys. It's not even funny. Like, I literally lay in bed, bed bound. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry it's like morning you know like that morning hoarseness um and i lay in bed for a couple of days it is so so bad but um i am um trying something out that i think it's actually working i had two migraines and i've actually used this supplement and it is literally working now i rather have i can't find it um, but when on my next vlog, I will definitely go ahead and let you guys know which one uh, It is very popular, but it's not rice. No, it's not that one But I'll definitely go ahead and if I can find it I'll just probably put it up on the screen which I'll probably will when I find it, but I lost my train of thought it's supposed to help with that too, with memory focusing and things like that. So I'm hoping that that will also help my situation. But yeah, I don't know what I was saying. I did order that. I'm hoping that it does help me out. And then the supplement um, I wanted to share with you guys. So if any of you guys that are watching this and you do suffer from migraines, I do know what you're going through. I do not want to take prescription pills. I'm one of those. So i rather take alternatives, natural ways, and that's actually what I'm doing. If you guys know of any natural good remedies for migraine, and I know some of them, the causes and everything, which I can't really help at this moment. Um, it's just not coffee. It's, it's a whole lot of things um, that may trigger your migraines. So, but yeah, I'm working on that. Like I said, I'm home. I'm decluttering a lot of stuff because like now, I only have one year. In one year, we will be hopefully moving to Florida. So um, I'm starting to declutter. I'm starting to um, donate a lot of stuff. Last week, not last week, two weeks ago, I was donating a lot of stuff. I had like really large bags. So I have to go to the attic. That's something that I'm going to need to do now that it is the summer and just clear everything out um, little by little, giving things away, donating, um, trashing things that I do not want, moving every time um, that we do go to Florida, just try to bring a couple of things like shoes um, and things like that. Um, that way we're not going to we're not gonna bring any furniture at all so this what we have here is gonna stay or um we're gonna donate it or we're gonna give it to my son um but none of the furniture none of the cores decors we're gonna we're gonna keep and we are going to um bring along i'm very minimal so my house will be very minimal um the only thing that um i will be uh, purchasing for the house of florida is a sofa couch and a round table with four chairs i want a coffee bar in the dining room and then maybe as you entry in the foyer um area i just want like a, a piece of like a 30 wide 30 inch uh furniture for like when you enter you can actually put your keys 
but I don't want it on I like I want it with a drawer because I want the keys inside the drawer the less I see on the surface the better it is yeah I don't I don't want a lot of furniture uh, a house looks really really lovely when you decor it and with really pretty furniture but um, I'm very minimalist so I'm gonna keep it that way and um, hopefully next time that I haven't really vlogged and show you the house because every time I go to Florida I get migraines and again that that's just what's happening with me and that's why I'm not very active here on YouTube um, and not doing a lot of content uh, health wise that is what pro uh, stops me from sitting and uh, vlogging and turning on the vlog camera but I'm hoping that I will get better, um, send good energies to me because I really do need it. This year will be going so quick, so there's a lot of things to do, so stay tuned for that because it's going to be a wild year. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe that's all of the catching up that I needed to do, but when I get there again, um, which we will be going in a couple of weeks, hopefully, um, everything goes well. We take all of the dogs. They're amazing. They are amazing. And I'm so thankful that we can travel with all of our dogs. The Goldens are already used to it, but Coco has never done that before. So the first time was chaotic. Chaotic. This boy kept vomiting and this boy pooped on my lap as I was holding him. Like that's how chaotic was that first time heading down. Then when we came back, he was good. The second time, he was good. So I think he got used to it, but it was a wild, messy ride the first time with Coco. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go for a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things. Today is Sunday, so there's not a whole lot that I'm gonna do. We, uh, I just came back from Florida two days ago, so yesterday was much like cleaning. I do have to go to the laundromat because I have a huge bag of like dog towels that I need to wash. I kind of wash their stuff away um, like in the laundromat and not using our own washer machine, washing machine. I only have the one washing machine so um, like I don't want to use that for the dogs. So I go on the laundry mat and I just take care of everything that is dog related right now. We are thinking at the house from Florida having like a little mini uh, kind of like washing machine in the garage for just dog purposes. Um, that's also another project that we would like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you guys um, in a little bit or um, maybe I will end this vlog here. So I have no idea. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate um, all of you guys. And yeah, till next time, bye.